Hello students, in the previous sessions already we have seen all the life processes like uh, the nutrition, transportation, respiration as well as the excretion process. So uh, these all the processes are considered as the life processes. So life processes means the basic functions which are very essential for an organism to be alive. So the basic functions which are very essential for an organism to be alive. That kind of processes are called the life processes. So here we can see the nutrition, respiration, transportation and the excretion. So these are called the life processes because without performing any one of these the organism cannot be alive. So only because of this reason we can consider these functions as the life processes. So here we can see in this session I am going to revise only the highlights points of all these four processes. So let us see one by one. So the process of nutrition means here the taking of food inside the body and converting it into the simpler forms that our body can absorb. So that process is called the nutrition. So here the process of nutrition is going to take place in the elementary canal. So the elementary canal consists of the buccal cavity, throat or esophagus, the stomach, small intestine and the large intestine. So the process of nutrition is going to take place along the elementary canal that consists of the buccal cavity, esophagus or food pipe, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. So in these parts the process of digestion is going to take place with the help of the biocatalysts called enzymes. So the digestion process which is going to take place in the elementary canal that is going to take place with the help of the biocatalysts called the enzymes. So many enzymes involved in the process of digestion. So the second process that is the respiration. So respiration is nothing but the <coughs> absorption of the energy which is produced during the nutrition. So the energy which is produced in the nutrition process or the energy which is present uh, what we obtain from the food that is going to be absorbed by the cells that is called the respiration. So here the, in the respiration we can see there are two types that is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. So the process of respiration is going to take place in the lungs with the help of the alveoli. The alveoli are the structures which are present in the lungs only that helps in the exchange of the gases. So the next process is the transportation. Whatever the energy we got by the process of nutrition, what we absorb by the process of respiration that is going to transport throughout the body with a system called transportation system. So here the heart is the organ which helps in the transportation of the essential items to the each and every single cell of our body. So here to transport the essential items uh, through the heart the blood vessels plays a very important role like the waves. So here this is these are the ways the blood vessels are the ways along with that the essential items are going to be transported to each and every cell. So that may be the veins or it may be the arteries or the capillaries. So among these some carries the oxygenated blood and some carries the deoxygenated blood and the capillaries plays the both the functions. They will carry the oxygenated blood and they will send the deoxygenated blood. So like this the energy which is produced which we obtain that will be transported to each and every single cell of our body. So the last process that is the excretion that is very important because the excretion means the process of removal of the waste 
items or the substances or the toxic materials which are produced during the other life processes. So the removal of the waste materials is very necessary in the organisms. If it is stored in the body that will be harmful or if it is going to accumulate in the body definitely it will be poisonous. So it will cause the diseases or it may cause the death also. So like this the removal of the waste items is called the process of excretion. So here the process of excretion is going to take place in the organs called kidneys. So the kidneys are the organs which helps in the filtration of the essential and non-essential materials or the toxic materials of the body. So here the nephrons are the structures which are present in the kidneys and that are considered as the functional units of kidneys. The nephrons are considered as the functional units of the kidneys. So here the waste materials like the carbon dioxide, the excess amount of water or the nitrogenous waste products like urea and the excess amount of the salts are going to be excreted by the different process. So here in the process of breathing through the lungs we are going to uh, send out the waste materials like the carbon dioxide and the other materials like the excess amount of water, the excess amount of salt as well as the urea which is produced that will be sent out by the kidneys. So here the nephrons are going to bifurcate, they are, they are going to separate the essential and non-essential materials of our body. So like this the process of the nutrition, the respiration, transportation and the excretion is going to take place in our body. So this is what the life process lesson. So in this lesson if you get any doubts or the difficulties you can send the message, you can send the questions by the messages to the whatsapp number and we will try to uh, solve all those questions. And the homework for the life process lesson is you have to uh, frame at least 100 questions. You have to frame at least 100 questions either maybe it is the objective type questions, 1 mark questions, 2 mark questions, 3 mark, 4 mark, 5 mark. By any type of questions you can create so that will be seen in the school day. So that must be uh, seen. So you have to do the you, you have to do this homework that is compulsory. So okay. So if you get any difficulties you can send the questions by the WhatsApp. Thank you for watching.